Well, let's go ahead and balance uh, these reactions here. Uh, we've got the first one here, which is a combustion reaction of uh, hexane. And so what we want to do first is just balance, uh, just kind of going left to right. Uh, we want to save uh, this oxygen here for last since it's all by itself. And we're going to hope that it just kind of falls in by itself. So let's look at that C6H14 there. So I've got six carbons here. I only have the one in the CO2 here. So I'm going to put a, a six in front of the CO2 to balance the carbons. For my hydrogens, I've got 14 here, and here I've got 2, and so I'm going to need 7 waters to balance out uh, those H2s. And now let's take a look uh, at the oxygen here. I've got 2 oxygens uh, in the reactants there. I've got uh, 12 oxygens from the CO2. I've got 7 oxygens uh, from the water, and so that gives me a total of 19 oxygen atoms. And I see with O2, they come in pairs. And so I have to have an even number of oxygens uh, to have an even, um, a whole number of oxygen molecules. Well, uh, that doesn't work quite right. So what we can do for now, uh, since we need 19 oxygens, the way I get 19 oxygens when they come in pairs is to have 19 halves of a pair. And that would give me 19 oxygen atoms. Now, when I... Uh, write my final balanced reaction, I don't want to have a fraction in there. And so what I'm going to do here to get rid of that half is to multiply uh, everything by 2. And so that's going to give me 2 C6H14 19O2 12CO2 and 14 water. So that comes up every once in a while as you're balancing where you're going to get a fraction and you just need to multiply by some factor in order to get rid of that fraction. Let's look at this next one. This next one will be a little bit more straightforward. Uh, we're going to do it the exact same way. We can go left to right. Uh, we don't have any elements that are all by themselves. And so let's just see how this comes out. So the first one I want to do is my boron there. And so i got two boron uh, in the reactants. I've got just one in the products, so I'm going to need a two there. I'm going to wait off on my oxygens because I've got oxygens in two places in the reactants and in two places in the products. And so that can get a little bit messy. So I'm going to hold off on those and, again, hope that they balance out in the end. For sodiums, I've got the one here in the reactant. I've got six in the product because I've got two molecules of the sodium borate, and each of those molecules have three sodiums in there, so I've got a total of six sodiums. So I've got to have a six here to balance out the sodiums. For my hydrogens, I now have six hydrogens in the reactants, and they come in pairs in the products with the water. So I need a three there. So now I've got everything balanced except for the oxygen. So let's just go ahead and check the oxygens. I've got three in the B2O3. I've got six from the NaOH. So that gives me nine oxygens in the reactants. And over here, I've got six oxygens from the two sodium borates and three from the waters. And that is equal to nine. So my oxygens are already balanced. So that's how you work those two out. If you've got any questions on those, make sure you let me know.